So I'm going to start from down up, always having a little bit open feet, never having them too close, open out like a ballet position, that really helps. And try to open up a little bit to the width of your hip. So the first thing, your hip bones. The first thing we're doing is bending one knee, and you've noticed on the straight knee, the hip is coming out. And if you switch knees, the hip comes out to the other side. Now, of course, the bottom result will be coming from your core, your torso, but we're slowly getting into that. First we go mechanically, and then as more repeat that you do, the more natural it's going to look. So switch and switch and switch. The next stage you want to do with this one is when you switch and you lift up, just like a merengue dance, a little bit off the ground, and when you place it down, don't straighten down the foot, but bend from here. Feel your rib cage going close to your hip bone. All right, and the same thing for the other side, lift and down. I've noticed much difficulty in students transitioning from no step, they're doing it fine, and then putting a step. Now a lady can also try to do only left and right, but can also go backwards left and right. Of course, a guy can do it too, it's unisex, but it depends how free you feel with that movement. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So on one or on two dancer, you will execute the same steps. On one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Yes? So let's see that with music. Five on your knees. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, we step. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. You can do it to the same. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Assuming you've paused the video, you've learned this move. I would suggest the next move, try to do it first by itself, then combining it with the hip. Open the feet apart again, spread your arms out and try to tighten the glutes, that's your bum bum area, and you try to move to the left, to the right. Now this is an exaggeration, with a slow salsa song or bachata, you can do as large and as fluent as you like, but in a quick salsa you have very small and compact movements. But for the camera purposes, I'm showing larger. Now, anatomy-wise, when the hip goes to the right, then the diaphragma or the rib cage, because the diaphragma is actually inside uh, an organ that helps us breathe. I like to call the rib cage moving left and right, left and right. So if you're trying with the knees, when you're going to the right with your hips, you're moving slightly to the left and exchanging. This exaggerates the movement and we're coming to a very beautiful Cuban song style. Remember, everything comes from the Cuban. All right, LA, Mambo, whatever style you're dancing, these movements are in the roots of this culture. Now, we're moving on from this one into stepping. The hands just keep them up until we get to them. And you see, I'm exchanging here. I can be dancing on one or on two, it makes no difference. You can practice without the hip, and just practice only this, boom, 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 which I know is a little bit difficult, but it will get the muscles going. All right, let's see that with music. Slowly, one, two, three, five, six, seven. 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 I promise you four body movements, and hopefully we will slowly learn to put them all together. The next part, which is very important, is the arms. Not just the hands. The hands for a guy is usually slight crunched punches like this. You don't want to have them like this, but you don't want to have them hanging down. Just have them slight, soft punch shape, and the elbows up. Don't squeeze the elbows in. Whenever you go to lead a lady and you lead like that, the lady feels very constricted. Open up your stance and your steering wheel. And now imagine you're holding a big bowl and your beach bowl and you're moving it like a baby to sleep. So I'm creating a gap 
here and here. Again, I'm exaggerating the move, but with every step, let's say I step with the left, I create a gap, and a gap, and a gap. This part of my elbow tries to reach up to the sky. Not all the way 90 degrees, a little bit lower, anywhere you feel more comfortable. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Again, you can dance this on one, two, three, five, six, seven, or one, two, three, five, because the rules apply the same foot, same gap. Try it opposite and you'll see it's not gonna work so well. The last thing I'm gonna put for the arms, this is debatable, some people like to do circular forward, I like to do it backwards from my elbow, inwards like this, like I'm reeling in a big fish. Come on, baby, come on in. If you see it from the side, left, I'm moving this once, and then I'm going to apply inwards action with my hands. And that creates the whole image, all right? Now you need to practice just the hands, one, two, three, five, six, seven. Maybe just the left and right first, five, six, seven. Then inwards the hands, five, six, seven. And after you get that, try to put in the hip. And after you get that, try to move the arms with the rib cage. So wherever the rib cage travels, that's where the arms travel as well. Let's see all this three put together with music. One, two. First you start with your hips. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Then you add the rib cage. Hands left and right. Same foot. Then hands go in and out as well. Circular action in. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Two works the same as well. Ladies, you can just push back the shoulders more. And down. Snap more of your tippy toes. And swivel, swivel, swivel. And you get a more feminine style. And last but not least, I think it's the most important actually, except from the hips, it's the shoulders. Now if you're doing more Cuban style or sensual bachata, you want to have full circular movement backwards. And not one and then two. Before one finishes, the other one starts, so you have a wave of continuation of movements. If you're doing a lay or mambo, which is a little bit faster, you want to apply up, back and down, up, back and down. Some people may say forward, but do you agree with this? If you're doing an afro-rupa movement, which asks for it, that's fine. But within your basic, it's more beautiful to go backwards. And usually for the ladies, their shoulder blades should be rubbing very close together. For the guys, it's fine if they stay right here. And we try to get that salsa tempo by going small movement, small movement, larger and slower movement. So that will be the quick, quick, slow. Small, small, large. Small, small, large. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So when you put that to your basic, quick, quick, slow. Quick, quick, slow. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Now notice, no hip, no rib cage, no hands. Slowly, slowly, every time your rib cage moves, that will initiate the shoulder movement. That's why we say we dance from our core. So I taught you individually each part, but once you start from the core, now that we came to it, then you will slowly start getting this feeling, quick, quick, slow, and you're already dancing salsa just with two things, rib cage and shoulders. And then quick, quick, slow at the hips, at the hands, and have everything put together. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's see everything now together, all four, including the shoulders. One, two, three, five, only shoulders first. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. From the rib cage now comes the shoulders. Automatically my hip wants to come in. Anatomy. And then I can relax my arms and let them Leg from my shoulders. On two as well. The back of the leg, the same count. The 
same thing for it slow. Hey guys, I hope it's not too difficult. Make sure to remember the points I told you. First, learn one movement very clearly. Watch it in front of a mirror or a shadow. I've got that from shadow boxing. If you have a lamp and you can see your shape, then you can estimate that you're moving correctly. A reflection from a window also does fine. Learn piece by piece and then put two things together, then other two things together, shoulders and ribcage. And then put three things together and then all four with your basic. Either on one or two or guano, that's when you're going to feel more comfortable than just dancing with no hips, no shoulders, no ribcage, no hands. Also, when you're moving the arms with the lady, you feel more comfortable than doing some things that I like to say cooking in the salsa business. Okay? That's it. I hope you guys like it. Make sure you comment and rate. I'll try to bring more combinations on the next video. My friend Gustavo, this one was for you. Thank you for all your support. We'll talk soon. See you on the next video.